Today we're going to show you seven upper body resistance band exercises you can do at home using the Bob and Brad resistance bands. That's right, and we also have systems on how to connect it either to the door or the wall. So this set comes with five resistance bands, two handles, as well as... Got an ankle strap, which I have on right here. We can show you how that's used for leg and hip strengthening, and a door anchor so that you can pull from the wall or the door, and we'll show you exactly how this works. It's very simple. To use a door anchor, simply open your door, put the round part on the opposite side, and shut the door in place like that. And there we go. Now another option to the door anchor is something that we invented because a door anchor works, but if you use what we have, these plastic wall anchors, they work very well because you can very easily put your bands at different levels. We have it down here, here, and up above. Now, one thing about using the wall anchor is it's absolutely vital that you put it in the stud. You have to have a wall with wooden studs, like here we have the drywall here, the wall, and the wooden stud. And we gave an example of the screws. This is how long they are. You can see this one missed the stud. That is not acceptable at all. They have to go into the stud, and they will hold up to 800 pounds. So they're very strong, very solid, as long as you get it in the stud. It's easy. We have a video on exactly how to do that. Okay, the first exercise we're going to do is for the bicep muscles. You're going to have to put it on the bottom of the door or the wall anchors on the bottom. And you're simply going to curl up like this. Keep your elbows tight to your body. Don't make your elbows go up as you bring it towards your head. Keep them nice tight and do some curls like this. Now, it's going to be a lot easier the closer I am. And it's going to be harder the further away. You can also put more bands together if you want or just use the harder resistance. Now, using the wall anchor, I'm going to show some alternatives on how to uh, do biceps. I do mine like this. I put it at this level. I turn around like this, and I have it here. And then I am in a position like this, and I pull. This gives a good stretch on the bicep here. Full range of motion is accomplished, and you can work it like that. Now, I'm going to show how Bob likes to do his. And this is the beauty of the wall anchor. You can simply reconnect it there. And now we're going to go at a similar angle for what Mike was going. And you can work it like this. Now, Bob, he does the power bicep curl because he feels like Superman. Two on one, and you can get double the resistance when you really want to work low reps, high resistance. And again, you can take, there's only one band here. You can easily get two bands, and we'll show you that later in the wall anchor. I've had up to three in there without a problem. It depends on the diameter that you have. Next, we're going to work the tricep muscle that extends your elbow. Now, you can do this without a door or wall anchor. Brad will show how to use it later with one. I'm just going to grab here like this, and then I'm going to extend my elbow out and then bring it back nice, slow, and controlled. The shorter amount of band you have here, the more resistance you're going to get. The further back it is, the easier it is to do. Now, I'm going to show you the way you can do it using an anchor. Now, this can be used on the door anchor as well as the wall anchor. You're going to use the top wall anchor. Now, these wall anchors are too high for me. These were put up for Bob, so i got to stand up on a step. Normally, these would be down, and I would not need to use the step, the stool. So this is how I do mine at home. I actually work it like this, stand here, and I'm getting core strength along with this. A lot of abdominal muscle and stability is needed for this. I'm not doing this. My elbow stays stationary to isolate the triceps, and I'll do 10 like that. Now, there's another way to do this where you actually use the wall, and this works out well. I'll go into a isometric chair position, elbows against the wall, and simply go like this. Now, this really, with the elbows on the wall, isolates and makes the uh, elbow positioning very easy to do without near as much thought. Yeah, and you get quadricep workout as well. 
This is a wonderful device. Now we're going to work the chest muscles. We're going to show two different ways you can work it. I'm going to be doing what is known as chest flies. I'm just going to use one band. You want it roughly the same level of your pecs, however tall you are with the door here. You can go from a higher or lower vantage point as well. It'll just work them in different ways. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to be even. Now notice when I go forward, I want a little bit of stretch in my pecs. So I'm actually walking out into it and my shoulders are behind me. If the this is comfortable for you. You don't have to start here if it's not. And then you're simply going to keep your arms out and bring your knuckles together like this. I'm not pushing. I'm doing a flying type motion. You can do three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Again, use more resistance bands as needed. The further away, the harder it will become. Now I'm going to do an option that Mike referred to, and that's going from a different angle coming up. And it works the chest. It works the lower fibers of the pec muscles. And I actually have, because I'm feeling strong like bull uh, or Superman, I actually have three bands on there. I usually don't use three, but I thought I would just show off a little bit. Actually, just for demonstration. So I'm going to pull down like this and work it up. Slight bend in the elbow. Bring it down. Good control. And once again, simply take a step out if you want to increase the resistance, as you can tell, works very well. Um, and actually, you could do some tricep options here as well. There's just a lot of options you can do with these. Okay, now we're going to show the horizontal press. It's very similar to a, a push-up, except for your standing. We got it mounted at the middle wall anchor, as you can see here. Good posture, good stance with your feet, and simply actually just like a push-up, working some good core here as well because my abdominals really need to stabilize so that I can stay standing. Make sure you switch feet because the foot behind is working much harder than the foot in front. So you're working some balance as well. Now before you start doing some of these exercises, make sure your door is shut all the way and even latched tight. Make sure no one else is going to come through there either. So if you have a lock, you can certainly lock it as well. Next exercise, we're going to work your posture muscles, specifically muscles surrounding your shoulder blades here. Now, I'm going to show one variation, and Brad will show a different one. You're going to go back and get some tension, arms straight out, and then I'm going to pull my elbows in, squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm not focusing on curling like we did earlier. It's a squeezing shoulder blades, and the arms just kind of follow along. You're going to want to try to do 10 repetitions. Keep a good upright posture. Don't bend over over and like you're rowing a boat. Good core posture and pull. Again, this one might be easier for some and you could certainly add more resistance bands. All right, now to show you some variations of that, just to work some more fibers and those um, muscles on the back, the medial uh, lats, etc., and the lower lats, we can go like this and actually do what we call the W. So if I'm facing the camera, we're pulling like this. Yep, just like that. And that's a quite a bit different than pulling like this. This is easy. This is hard. You get some rotator cuff involvement as well as a postural. Now, I personally have started to do one where I, I go like this and I'll do 10 of those, and then I'll do an angle like this to get different fibers of those postural muscles, and then I'll go like this. That works very well, and I like to break it up just so you don't get bored. There's a lot of different options, and we'll show you as many as we can. Okay, the next exercise, we're going to work the lat muscles. They're on both sides, and they almost look like you got wings if you got big ones. So there's many ways to train the lats. I'm going to show you one or two versions, and Brad will show you a couple more. This one, you're going to keep your arms out straight. You're not going to bend forward hard like this, but maybe a slight forward posture if it's okay on your back. And then you're going to keep your arms straight and pull back. You're going to make sure you're squeezing that lat as you go down here. Obviously, if I'm doing it this way, I'm going to feel a lot more resistance because I have two handles on one side. And you're going to do 10 to 15 repetitions, two to three sets. Two more options for the lat pulls. We're going to use a wall like we did before. I'm going to squat down and then out like this and pull down like this. Works very well. Sometimes the problem I have with this is sometimes I want to get more range of motion and it gets sloppy. Uh, and I could squat a little bit more. So you work with that, maybe put some more bands on. Another option which will eliminate that problem is simply go to your lower anchor and lie down on the floor, on your back, and you scoot your body away. 
to the right distance and simply work it down like this. This is nice because it's kind of comfortable. You can just lie here and isolate those lats. If you want to work it over this way, work some different fibers. And then when you're done, you can lie here and take a little nap. The next exercise we're going to do is called the Paloff Press, and it's going to work your core stabilizing muscles. So you're going to take the band, get some resistance walking away from the door here. I'm going to start at my chest. I'm going to do a slight little knee bend, almost like I'm not going to do a full squat, just a little partial squat. And then you're going to press out while maintaining your balance and then come back back like this. This is a lot harder than you think. It looks very easy, but this whole side of my core is keeping me up. If it wasn't, I'd be tipping over like this. So you can do 10 presses one way, and then you have to make sure face the other way to get the other side going. The more resistance, the harder this will become. And make sure to go nice, slow, and controlled with your presses. Don't be going like this. <laughs> All right, once again, I'm going to show some modifications on this. If you're getting bored with that, you want to work some different parts of your core as maybe even balance. So just keeping it out like this, that athletic stance, tighten the core, pull it out so there's resistance. And this is, I don't know if Bob made this up or what, but he calls it stirring the pot. So you make circles and you can really feel, particularly on the right side of my abdominal muscles working good. Make sure you go both directions and naturally you do it this side as well. Uh, another option that you can do is simply do the press like Mike was doing, but if you want to work some balance and really work some intrinsic muscles in your ankles and legs, do it on one leg. And then you really get a nice core and a lot of work. All of a sudden it's happening in the hip, the thigh, all the way down to the ankle. Very good stabilizer throughout the body, top to bottom. Make sure you do both sides as well. The last exercise we're going to do is going to work your shoulders. We'll show you a couple variations because some people's shoulders don't function like others. The first one is going to be an overhead press like this. To begin, the wider your feet are apart, the more resistance you will get, the closer, the less resistance. Make sure you heels and your forefoot are standing on the ground the whole time. If you come up, that band will shoot up like a slingshot. So be cautious with this one. You're going to stand here and then you're going to press up towards the ceiling, back down. Notice my shoulders aren't way out like this. This can cause more impingement problems possibly. So try to get your hands in front of you like this. If you're not sure, you can even slightly look up towards the ceiling as you're going up and that'll get your pecs going more reducing the amount of impingement you might possibly have. Now, if you can't lift your shoulders overhead for some reason, you could certainly just do a lateral raise going out to the side like this. Again, pick what resistance works well for you. I'm not going straight out. I'm going slightly forward at this angle, keeping a straight arm the whole time. You know you have good tension. We can keep good posture. If you're starting to shrug and go like this, it's too much. Now, this is an option if you're doing vertical straight up like Mike first mentioned, and you're getting some shoulder pain, it's not too bad. That's an early sign of impingement possibly. So if you can anchor it to the lower anchor or on the door, we're gonna change the angle from straight up to about a 45 or so angle out like this. And that should hopefully reduce any impingement symptoms or pain that you're getting. Uh, so if it's pain-free here and it, has pain going straight up, do the pain-free option, or like Mike had mentioned, going out like this with abduction. So if you have not purchased these yet, we just want you to be aware that there are two options and price differentials on Amazon. The difference is the one resistance band set has more resistance poundage per band, so just make sure you check that out. You can see here the max on this one is 35 and the max on that one is 50, so be aware of that. Also, they are made from 100% latex, so if you're allergic to it, don't buy it. Ooh, that whisper. <laughs> Now, if you're interested in buying the wall anchors, you can do that through Amazon, Bob and Brad wall anchors. You will receive three wall anchors with the screws needed. Now, there's an option that gives you a little bit better of a deal, perhaps. Go to bobandbrad.com. Go to our product section. We sell the exact same wall anchor, except for you get four of them versus three for about the same price. So, you know, do the math. Get the good deal. <laughs> what if I can't do math? <laughs> <laughs> if you at some time in the future we'll we'll be releasing a lower body exercise routine that you can do with these as well. So stay tuned for that. That's right. Bob and Brad.
that the two most famous physical therapists on the internet.